I've been in the market for a new hunting backpack for a while now. Every time I decided I would get one, something else would come up. I'd have to buy a new scope or binoculars or hunting boots, something else I felt I needed to, you know, focus that money on first. I had been using just a, a cheap, um, I think it, it just says Realtree on the front. I have to go look at it. It's actually become my, my chainsaw bag now, but I've been using that for, I don't know, four years or so. It's something cheap I got from Walmart and it, it held up okay. Uh, the stuff was starting to fray at the seams. Um, it just kind of got worn out. And so I decided this year, finally, I was going to get one. And then the folks over at Tidewee reached out to see if I'd be interested in reviewing some of their products. Now, I've never owned anything Tidewee brand. They do show up on a lot of lists when you're, you know, researching products. So I was aware of the brand, like how I heard about it. I was researching backpacks before they even reached out to me. And they showed up on the list as one of the best budget options. So I thought, Perfect, this would be the chance I get, finally get my new backpack, but then I get to review a, what looks like could be a quality product. So in this video, we're gonna go over my, my initial review, my first impressions of this Tidewee backpack. Now, they don't have like a specific model name of it um, for me to give you, but I will leave a link to it down in the description below. It's not the smallest one, it's not the biggest one with the frame, it's that middle of the road option. I think it's $70 on their website. But before we go over the review of this very comfortable backpack, do me a favor and if this is your first time on my channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Also, let me know if you want, to, want me to do more of these product reviews in the future. I can certainly do some other Tidewee products or maybe some other brands you want me to try to get a hold of to do a review on. <clears throat> so I'm going to back away from the camera a little bit, which I'm sure some of you will be glad I finally do that. but. This backpack, like I said, it is very comfortable. The straps are padded. The back has some nice thick padding on it. Um, the uh, waist strap where it's got some extra pockets here. Oh, let me angle this down a little bit. It's got some packets or pockets on these um, waist straps and these are, this is even padded. So it's gonna, it's nice and comfortable. Um, you can tighten it down, cinch it down and it's not gonna move a whole lot. Um, I don't have it cinched all the way down. Chest strap on it as well. Now, this backpack is hydration pack compatible if that's something you like to do. I typically don't run a hydration pack unless it's like turkey season or maybe if I'm doing some more run and gun style type of hunting, spot and stalk, but it's got that compatibility. It has also got this built in, let me take this off, where you can strap your bow or your rifle to it. And I've actually got a video of me doing that and I'll put this up, you know, overlay of this. So I had my bow strapped to it and I went up and down my stairs, uh, my deck stairs, and then I, you know, kind of shook around to see how stable it was. And then I also did that with my rifle. I actually used the heaviest rifle I have, um, a 243 with a wood stock, bull barrel on it, just so it's the heaviest. And I did notice it's got some sway to it. It kind of goes back and forth. So I, I would like to see, um, there's this, the second point of contact for your rifle is this little strap here. And two things about this. I, I would like to see if there was a way we could have something a little higher up um, to give it so your rifles don't wobble too much. Now it's secure, it's not gonna fall out, but it just kinda, I don't know, a little too much wobble. I'd also like to see this thing kinda more permanently attached to this loop. So I don't know if you can see this here, but it just kinda, it's loose in here. So I feel like that's something that might, I don't know, you might lose it. Um, if you don't keep it uh, clipped. I also hauled the backpack up with my bow attached to it, you know, from my deck to kind of simulate how it would be when I was in the tree. I thought maybe this would give me an idea if, you know, how stable it looks in that, um, in that backpack. Cause the worst thing would be to haul that up and then your bow somehow slip out or something like that, but it's definitely not gonna go anywhere. So I'm, I'm very happy with that. It's not something I've ever really utilized before. I, you know, I didn't have a backpack that was capable to strap my bow or rifle too, but now that I have that capability, I, you know, I definitely will probably look into doing that. You could probably also use it if you didn't want to use it to haul, haul your bow or your rifle with. If you do a lot of mobile style hunting, you could probably strap your uh, climbing sticks to it and then that way you're not having to carry those as well. So it's probably a multi-functional thing, even though it's kind of advertised as a bow rifle carrier, but there is that option. Okay, so enough about the features of the backpack. Let's talk about what I liked about the backpack, the, my first impressions of it. And 
but the biggest thing is I didn't want to have a backpack that wasn't going to last me, you know, as long as the, even that cheap one did. Three, four, five seasons, as long as I'm not, you know, being extremely abusive to it. Um, so the first thing I did is I checked the fabric, and the fabric is very nice and thick. Um, the stitching looks very good. The zippers look quality zippers. I did notice, uh, which zipper pocket was it? I think it was this one here. Yeah, it was this one here. The I unzipped it, and then when I went to zip it back up, this little string came undone, which I guess is not really that big of a thing. I just retied it, and that was it. But that was the only thing I noticed on that. Um, one thing I don't, it's probably not a big deal, but, you know, I could probably go for something a little different was the sound of the, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's very, very crinkly sound um, for the lining inside the, um, inside the backpack. But it, then again, that's probably not that big of a deal. Um, I would just kind of prefer something maybe a little more silent. As far as the storage capacity goes, I mean, these, these two big compartments, they're very nice very deep pockets uh, so you can you know put your extra code or anything in there it's got different different uh, pockets inside these to hold your stuff I'm the type of person that I like a place for all my stuff so everything can go in that place I don't want to have to dig around and fumble around trying to find what it is I'm looking for I want to know okay I put my rangefinder in this pocket so that's where it is I put my I have my snack pocket I've got my you know whatever uh, it's where I want it to be. It's easily accessible and it's held there. I don't, again, I don't want to just, you know, act like I'm digging around in a giant sack trying to find what I'm looking for. So this backpack has a lot of different little, I don't want to say little because it's got different compartments to where you can have your different, different things in it. There's, what is that? There's four or five in this one. There's one, two, three, some shell holders four in this one. Now, like I said, I want to have a place for my stuff. I want it to go in specific spots. And this is me probably being OCD. Um, but again, I just don't want to have to fumble around for stuff. So I would have liked to have seen more smaller pockets for my smaller things. Like my knife can go in here, zipped up, it's secure. Only my knife is in there. You know, my call, my whatever. Um, that's probably my only gripe about how the pockets are arranged in here. I, like I said, I'd like for some smaller ones, but it's not a big deal. It does have two side pockets here on the side where I ended up putting my range finder and then I put my, my grunt pole in there. Um, it's got one on the other side. I don't know what I have in here. Oh, headlamp. So I guess it you know, kind of makes up for it, but... And then, you know, pockets for your mugs and then they've got pockets in here which I ended up putting you can see that that's where I ended up putting my knife and my little little hand saw stuff like that so there are other options um, as far as where you put your pockets and stuff but again I just like some more compartmentalization within those big pockets real quick um, another feature I forgot to talk about I forgot to mention is it's a little gimmicky but this little zipper on the bottom you just unzip that and it's got a full waterproof cover to go over your backpack. You get caught in a torrential downpour. I don't know that I'd ever use this unless it was a torrential downpour. Um, but it does happen. Like I said, it's kind of gimmicky, but it's kind of cool. Um, built in. So they were definitely trying to think of all the possible things you could want in a backpack. So overall, my overall impressions of this backpack, I think it is a great option um, for you to go with. It's not, it's not a huge expense. I mean, you could go up to the higher to the higher one with the frame and all that, I guess, if you're going out west. But I think this is a great option for a backpack that does not break the bank. Um, we'll see how durable it is. Um, I will give an update at the end of the season if I notice anything going on with it. Otherwise. I really like this backpack. Like I said, it's comfortable. Um, it holds all my stuff except for, you know, my small gripes about these smaller pockets, but that's, it's not a big deal. I can figure out where I want to put my stuff. The fabric looks quality. The zippers look quality. Uh, it just, all I can ask for in a backpack. The added bonus of being able to carry my bow or my rifle on my back instead of having to use my hands or if I wanted to, climbing sticks if, if need be. 
hydration pack compatible, uh, the, the waterproof cover that I'm probably never going to use, but might come in handy at some point. I think, again, there's so many features in this kind of mid-range backpack that I think you definitely can't go wrong if you want to just buy this backpack and then, who knows, it may last you a lifetime. We will see. And so that was my overall first impressions of the Tidewee kind of mid-range backpack. I will leave a link to it down in the description below so you know exactly which one I'm talking about. And let me know if you want me to do more Tidewee product reviews. I mean, they definitely look like they're quality products. Um, time will tell how long they last, and that's one thing I'm very interested in. So let me know if you want me to do any more reviews or if there's any other brands out there you'd like me to look into. Hit that like button if you like this video. Share it if you found it helpful, and make sure that you are subscribed so you can stay informed.